Well, it's August 25th. It's 85 degrees outside, and there's no better time to test out this new M12 heated hoodie. And I can tell you, I am quite warm. Okay, I'm wearing the gray model. In the picture, it looks much uh, to be a much lighter gray. This is actually really uh, more of a charcoal gray. Uh, should be great for hiding dirt. Has nice uh, contrasting pinstriping. And uh, just for form and fit, uh, I'm 5'10 and a little over 200, and uh, this fits me fine. All right, we're going to retire to the air-conditioned uh, inside area to take a closer look at this. This is the newest version. I own the model that came out previously to this. I bought my other one in 2014. Uh, big differences in this jacket. Uh, the old style had the Milwaukee logo on the hood and uh, the breast area in bright red. Now it's black. Uh, still looks nice, but way more subtle. That bright red was a bolder stylistic choice than I care for. The operation is the same. You just hold the power button down for a couple of seconds and wait for it to turn on. Tap the button to the medium and then the low settings and then you just hold it for two seconds and turn it back off. Uh, performance wise with this, it was kind of weird. On the high setting, it ran for two hours. And on the medium setting, it ran for two and a half. And I thought that was a mistake because I was using an older battery. So I went and got a brand new battery, still two and a half hours. And then the cool setting, it ran for six, which was a pretty long time. Um, but the cool setting is, is, is really cool. Uh, I don't know that it's actually a functional setting, unless you're maybe wearing a windbreaker over the top of this, and then it's going to work pretty good as a layered effect. Uh, this is a heavy jacket, but you will feel some wind through it if the wind is blowing. So the, uh, the low heating function work really good in a layered thing where you got a windbreaker on the outside. And then this is heating you up on the inside. Okay, I've got this set at the uh, high setting. You can tell by the red light on the jacket. And I've been running this for 55 minutes, and it's 100 degrees on the inside. So that's pretty warm. Uh, it's been closed up inside there the whole time. All right, it's been at the medium setting for over 30 minutes, and the internal temperature is 78 degrees. So it's about 10 degrees difference between each setting. And, uh, it's been in, turned on for half an hour at 71 degrees inside. A significant change from the previous model is, and this was a huge flaw in the first one, the compartment that holds the battery was actually located inside the jacket, so you had to open the jacket up and then to get the battery out to change it. Now it's on the outside, and uh, your battery fits right in there. There's a little, I don't know if I'll be able to get it on the camera here, but there's a small pocket right here that you can use to, to put the battery in to keep it from flopping around. I put it in there. Man, it was hard to get out uh, while wearing the jacket. So after that point, I just left it loose in here. Now the jacket's also big enough that you could put two batteries in there. And you can also put the M18 battery in there it'll run on the m18 if you get the special adapter which i would like to have but i don't have another neat thing is inside the pocket there's a, a an extra pocket for holding your phone so your phone doesn't flop around uh, this is a galaxy 6 active and uh, it's a bigger size phone and it fits in there just fine now i think it would have been nice if they had put this phone pocket uh, on the other side and then you could connect your phone to the battery um, and then keep your phone charged, but they probably, maybe they felt that would be just too much weight on one side of the jacket. So I'm on Milwaukee's website, and uh, th this jacket I got was the kit model, and it's a, it comes with a battery charger, battery, the battery holder, and of course the jacket. Now according to the website, it's supposed to come with a 2.0 compact battery. Mine was shipped with a 1.5 amp hour compact uh, battery which is a bit of a bummer that's a $20 difference in price and it's supposed to come with the M12 battery holder with the 2.1 amp USB charger and mine came with the old school uh, charger now this Maybe is a huge explain difference. better the one that was supposed to come with it has a button on the top and you can press the button and then you get the four lights that indicate the battery strength and then on the other side there's a little bit of a port that you can put a USB cable into and uh, it's the 2 amp charger, it'll charge a, a phone up pretty quickly, so I really miss that function. Uh, I bought the jacket also, and the jacket came with the nicer battery holder, so I know 
how that works and I was really hoping to get another one with this one my point is I got my jacket for free and if you pay for yours you better make sure you get the better holder and the bigger battery in it I really like this jacket it's it's really heavy and the inside feels really good uh, I like my other one too and uh, I've actually put that in a wash half a dozen times and it still heats just the same as it did the first day so uh, if you get these guys don't feel afraid to stick it in the laundry I think I even dried it a couple times but normally I try to just air you know hang it up and dry it 